Why, there is a parchment that has just been torn. Let's see. This could be interesting.
I found it. A miniature pyramid. Curious. Useless. These jewels strongly resemble those of the necklace which the director entrusted me. Mustafa told me that this man operated in contraband. Damnation! There was a cobra in this large vase. Impossible to approach the door if I don't find a way to get rid of it. There, perfect. A key. It must have been in the serpent's vase. This door is extremely solid. No chance of forcing it. Open. All of these precious items have been stolen, there is no doubt. This sachet isn't a part of the stolen goods. It contains gold powder. A solar disk. Curious. All of these precious items have been stolen, there is no doubt. This letter was written just two days ago. This letter was written rapidly. The monster must have been pressed to leave again. I can't transport all of these artifacts stolen by this Turk and his acolytes. I must return to the director as quickly as possible. Let's head to the museum. I don't know how to thank you for recovering these stolen artifacts. The police just brought them. 
but unhappily, they were unable to put their hands on this Turk. But they know his name, Suleiman. He won't get far. The authorities, as well as the museum, will draw great prestige from the reinstitution of this stolen treasure. If it can contribute to improving the opinion that the locals have of Westerners. Can I have the Coptic artifacts? Here, they are in this sack. I keep the necklace with which I entrusted you. It's not on my inventory, and it will make a perfect souvenir. I shall depart, Director. Look at this parchment. Do you recognize these hieroglyphs? Yes. They are classic symbols from ancient Egypt. I have a book on this very subject. Over there, on my desk. You could take a look. Fine. All of that must be deciphered. I found it! What do you want? I found a statuette at our guy's hideout. What can you tell me about it? It represents the Black Sphinx without a face, the artifact of the impious cult of which we spoke. The Black Sphinx is one of the shapes of the Black Man without a face. One of the ancient cursed gods. Usually, the Sphinx is placed near a building to guard it. When the building is a tomb, the Sphinx protects the corpse within. It's a bodyguard, if you'll permit my little joke. As for the hieroglyphs, they represent the phrase or name, or possibly both. This phrase is pronounced uh, Nayarhot, or more likely Luthotep. Nayar Luthotep, that's it! I would have trouble giving you the exact signification without much research, and we seem to have little time. I must recommend, however, that you dispose of this artifact at the soonest opportunity. It will only bring bad luck. I shall depart, Director.
But what is it, my friend? You seem to be in an ill humor. My wife has locked me out because of my niece. She hasn't set foot back in the house, and I am not allowed to return home myself until the girl is found. Good luck, then. Such tragedy for this family. What will they do if they learn the truth? They will think me mad and worse. They might take vengeance on all Westerners and spread this hatred to the whole of Cairo. Good evening. Here are the objects that you asked for. I have also succeeded in finding the solar disk missing from the cross. Your steps are guided by St. Mark, my son. It is a miracle that you've accomplished this. Unfortunately, I have some bad news. In order to replace the objects that were found on the cross, I have this host for you which will be necessary. I do not know two of the other artifacts, but they were certainly common items because nothing was consigned to me by my predecessors. They must, however, be feared by demons. And you seem to know a lot about that matter. But some artifacts are still missing. Is something worrying you? We will need some holy water to pour into a cup for one of the arms. I don't have any more. I can, with the artifacts you have brought me, perform the water benediction ceremony in my role as priest. The water here is unsuitable for benediction. The aura emanating from the tomb as well as the recent flock of birds have sullied the waters hereabouts. I will require water that hasn't touched the earth, such as rainwater. But it is the dry season, and it won't rain for days, if not weeks. I cannot suffer such a delay. I will attempt to find a solution and bring you some suitable water as soon as possible. A small quantity will suffice. Goodbye, Herodotus. The heavens be with you, my child. Be full of courage. Fine. Now I must find some water that hasn't touched the earth. I am listening, my child. I found the statuette. Can you tell me about it? It is a black sphinx without a face. One of the shapes of the black man without a face who cries at the moon. It is a cursed object. Smashing it would be the best. What does the inscription on the side mean? The director of the museum pronounced it as Nai Ar Lut Hotep. Hieroglyphs are alien to me, but I know this name. It's the name of the black man without a face, messenger of the ancient gods. His name signifies there is no sleep past the threshold, or there is no peace after judgment. Do you understand what that means? The threshold is the passage between life and death, which corresponds to man's acts on the day of judgment, and whether one has a right to heaven or hell. Those who call upon the black man with no face are condemned to eternal damnation. This could take the form of a soul wandering for eternity, screeching through the black void. But it could also take the form of a creature neither dead nor alive, hiding amongst mortals, subject to an unspeakable hatred and eternal torment. Goodbye, Herodotus. The heavens be with you, my child. Be full of courage. Fine. Now I must find some water that hasn't touched the earth. This barbecue emits a great heat.
this button. Listening, my child. Here is some water that comes from air and hasn't touched the ground. It should be suitable. The heavens are with you, my son. I can bless this water. Here, my child, you must go alone to the tomb. I must pray in the chapel and recite the rites, which will open the seal for you. Besides, the access is difficult for a man at my age. You have been there? An old man of God knows the cornerstones of life. He also knows what may be the throes of death. An innocent young girl succumbed in this damned place. Despite being a Muslim, she has a Christian grave. It goes against tradition, but her soul will rest in peace from now on. She died in the clutches of the monster, who leaves behind him a long list of similar tragedies. Nevertheless, her family is not worried because they are not fully informed. What can we do? Tell them the truth, but know that a Muslim buried by a Christian will certainly cause numerous misunderstandings and probably worse. You know more than I about this business. Your decision will be wise. After having gone past the cross, is there anything else I need to do? According to the ancient priest reports, you must find a secret passage just after the cross. To open it, you must put a golden deban or a hinu of cursed blood into a basin. I don't know what it signifies. Directly afterwards, the sun must hit the summit of the pharaoh's tombs. Again, I can't help you, but the heavens are with you. You will succeed. Goodbye, Herodotus. The heavens be with you, my child. Be full of courage. I must return to the temple. I am prepared. Who knows what awaits me?